guys how are you doing welcome i hope you guys are doing well today's video we're going to do a lot a lot of test drive first impression kind of thing and this is a mix of drugstore and high-end makeup if you're new to my channel hi i would like to welcome you my name is juliana if you haven't already i would like to invite you to please come join the gang by hitting the subscribe button don't forget to ring that notification bell to get notified on all my video uploads so sit back relax we're just gonna hang out play around with these new babies here and do some makeup first up i'm going to try who the beauties eyebrow a product this is huda beauty's bond brow it's a micro shade brow pencil it has an ultra fine at 0.9 mm tip one of the tiniest waterproof smudge proof and a 24 hour wear and this is 17 dollars from sephora and i'm using the shade rich brown so basically i'm just licking the pen you know what honestly the pen is kind of sharp okay guys the brows are done i am so impressed with this product it's a very easy to apply a little goes a long way you don't have to sweat out applying the product on your natural eyebrows because the pencil itself will guide you okay moving on with our eyelid we have a new eyeshadow primer we got this one from nyx cosmetics this is the proof it waterproof eyeshadow a primer just gonna put a little i can feel something sticky on my eyelid it says here to wait for a couple of minutes let it set before applying your eyeshadow so we're going to let it set it's already uh, i think this is dry you know what a little more now let's move on with eyeshadow product i don't have a high-end or a luxurious eyeshadow palette when i saw this at ulta this is the elf clay eyeshadow palette and i got the shade necessary nudes it's very portable this is a six dollar eyeshadow palette i don't think this is new at elf i don't think so but it says new at ulta and i'm just gonna color all over my eyelid okay that's patchy let's change the brush what is going on i don't know if this is the eyeshadow or the primer hmm okay let me uh take this off okay let's go back to elf eyeshadow primer if you've been watching my channel this is my go-to we'll see what's going on i don't know if the shadow or the shadow primer from nyx okay we're going to use a clean brush okay so now you can see that the product blends so well on my eyelid meaning to say it's not the eyeshadow but it's the eyeshadow primer so we're going to move on with the palette okay you know what this eyeshadow the formula is beautiful i got another product this is dazzle stick from kbd and it is an eyeshadow stick no need for the brush your clean finger will do i love how it blends so well on the skin it's very blendable moving on i'm going to work on my tight line i'm using ColourPop cream gel liner okay going to work on my mini wing i'm going to use the ColourPop liquid liner and i am in shade numero uno So next up, we're going to use the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. The brush itself is so good. I'm impressed. I love the applicator. 
So I'm so excited for this product from Milani. These are the supercharged line. It's a combo of makeup and skincare, if I may say. So we're going to use these babies here. I got uh, the supercharged facial mist. This is very refreshing. If you use this in the morning, it will wake up your senses. Okay, moving on with primer. I'm going to use Milani Supercharge Dewy Primer. So it has citrus and ginseng in it. What it does is not only prolonging your makeup wear, but it also evens out your skin tone. So it's a combo of moisturizer, a primer, and treatment, especially if you have a dull skin like me. And we're going to use that on our whole entire face. It's very tacky. And it smells so good. Moving on with foundation. We're going to use Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromania Tinted Glow Hydrator. This is a medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. And uh, what else? It is infused with kombucha and marula oil. It is vegan and it will give you a glow. A 24 hour hydration. So I hope my T zone will not oxidize because too much is not so good when putting on makeup you have to balance it out most of the time I'm a combo skin but during winter time I am a very dry person yeah okay and I am in shade number 50 medium by the way I'm going to use the latest makeup brush from elf the elf complexion duo and this is the consistency it's not runny at all okay okay the shade is perfect I'm not a fan of this foundation brush I don't know what's going on but it has some Thing from the brush that messing up with my foundation it is what it is we have to move on Okay, this is the first application. I still have some redness peeking through. My scar here is still peeking through. It is what it is. It says in the packaging that it is a medium coverage. I am a full coverage person. But you know what? It's good because we have concealer. So first off, I wanted to use this one from e.l.f. This is the a Flawless Brightening Concealer. And actually, this is not a full coverage. So what it does, just brighten up your dull skin. I'm going back in with Milani Beauty Sponge and I'm using the baby one. This is just perfect. You know, those crevices of your face that it's very hard to reach. This is just perfect. I have another one from, this one is from Heart Candy. Glamouflage Pro Full Coverage Concealer. I'm going to just put a little under my eye and this one going back in with my sponge and blend out good thing i only put a little otherwise i'm gonna be caking myself out okay moving on i'm so excited with this product this one is one size by Patrick Star and I got his translucent powder. I got the mini one because tell you what, I can't afford to buy that much. It's a 30 something dollars for the full size. So I got the mini size which is still very pricey. I'm going to use this to set my under eye. Oh snap. Okay, before setting my under eye, I just wanted to use this cream blush from Milani. I'm using the Putty Blush brush from Elle. Using the setting powder from one size. And we're going to use a little. There's no scent at all, which is so good. Uh, let me try. Oh my goodness. You can feel 
that the product is so velvety it's so smooth i'm going to use a fluffy brush and set my foundation so I'm impressed with the powder sold yeah i actually bought it already yeah what am i talking about we're going to contour with charlotte tilbury and this is the film star a bronze and glow a palette and i'm going to use my favorite contour brush from fenty and this is the 125 i love the shade it is a true brown And then moving on, I just wanted to pump up my under eye. Ever since my friend introduced this to me, I think a couple of months ago, I've been using this even without a foundation. I just use this straight on top of my sunscreen. This is the Bare Mineral Well Rested Concealer. And then to just open up my eyes, I'm going to use the Cream Gel Liner from ColourPop. And I'm using the shade Honey Dude. I admit despite the fact that I'm wearing a good mascara but you know what it is what it is I am a little extra here and there so bear with me I got this new lashes from Kiss Cosmetics obsessed I'm going to use this one here the ML BB my lash but better I have these two pairs extra and I'm going to put this in my giveaway yeah just hit me on the comments down below what makeup product in this video that you would love to try that's it i will randomly pick a winner and i will dm you as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you okay lashes are up mm -hmm. i am in love you're gonna love this this is so light like as if i'm not wearing anything on my eyelid okay let's move on with highlights i'm going to go in with the palette from charlotte tilbury and we're going to use this highlighter here not bad right so i'm going to put a little on my cupid's bow and we're going back in with a Revlon mascara to coat our lower lash line. Don't forget to coat your inner corner. Last but not the least, don't forget your lips, of course. And we're going to use this one from a Cover Girl. It's been in the market for a long time, but this is the new formula. it says here let it set don't press your lips together okay did i press my lips tell me on the comments down below this is not as drying as the nyx loud cloud but it is drying it's over one minute now we're going to move on with the top coat it says here this is the moisturizer that make the liquid lipstick last long it looks like a lip balm we're going to set our makeup okay guys this is our uh, finished look i hope you like it and uh yeah i am loving the lashes so happy with all these products but except for one the eyeshadow primer from nyx cosmetics this is the proof it totally messed up uh, the eyeshadow and then uh, for the tools makeup tools the brush from elf this duo brush i am not a fan of it it scratch my skin i i'm not loving this one okay guys and that's it for our video for today i hope you like it and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i would like to say thank you so much for hanging out with me if you haven't already i would like to invite you to please come join the gang by hitting that subscribe button my hair is all over my face thank you so much i love you all i'll see you in my next video